and that's like what I got into this industry for. I mean, just just the excitement, like for me, just the excitement of getting to travel across the country, like getting to live in another place for you know a few months or a couple months meet all these different people and just experience this different way of life that I'm not used to. Like that is why I got into acting in the first place. It's just to have that opportunity with a movie like this and, you know, with what the kind of message that it was sending, you know, it was uh, something I could be proud of that uh, just, I felt very honored to be a part of it. No, I mean, I grew up in the, the States. So all my family's Canadian, but I was born and raised in the States. So I have dual citizenship. And I didn't move up to Canada until like six years ago. Like as far as like actually experiencing that, I've heard just the hospitality that comes with that area and just how nice the people are. It's the place where you can leave your doors unlocked. You know, like growing up in the States, that was a fairy tale to me. It didn't seem, seem real. And just to actually get to go there and experience firsthand and have it not only meet those expectations, but exceed them, I mean, I just the people I met there just so genuine and so sweet and just really willing to go out of their way to uh, to help you out and um, invite you over for dinner, you know, say if you ever come back, you better not stay at a hotel, we'll be offended, you come, you stay with us, you know, I just was never used to that and it was really touching and heartwarming for me. Not everyone processes grief and, and heartache and uh, in tough situations in the same way, there's always, you know, the the age old saying there's the tears of the clown you know where people so oftentimes you look at a guy like robin williams the the funniest people the you know the people that always tr try their best to make someone laugh and you know, just to lighten up the mood are just typically some of the people that have like the hardest time processing and handling things and you know i'm not going to go into you know extreme death but there's certainly uh blurred uh traits and commonalities and life situations between me and Noah that uh, really translated to the movie where, you know, like I had, I had some tough situations growing up where I'd go to school, I'd be the class clown. I was making people laugh. And, you know, as long as I felt like people were laughing, I didn't really have to focus on my problems. Um, Cause you just, you walk that tight rope of like, and I'm sure this is what, this is how I approached Noah where, you know, you try your best so hard to keep everyone light and happy because as soon as there's that flicker of like sadness, it's like, oh shit, it's, it's all going to fall apart. You know, everyone's going to realize how bad everything truly is. And you, it's kind of just like pulling the veil over everything to, to hide what's really underneath. And, you know, in the movie, a lot of it came across as I was just like the, the, you know, the funny guy and whatnot. I, there was, unfortunately, I know with film, making there's some scenes that have to be cut and there was one in particular that really kind of like showed the other side of no he got to really just like you know why he's doing it all what what's so important about it to him you know with his family and just the pressures he has of having a, of a child coming in how he needs his family around or else he's not gonna be able to to make it um but um yeah like there's he i think deep down he's, he's very sad he's just terrified uh of why of what could happen if if it doesn't work out this may this is the last chance so we you know do everything you can to to keep it together and i absolutely relate to that the hardest thing in the world is in any stand with comedian will say this and any comedian will, will tell you is to to be funny like you, if you try to be funny it just falls flat on its face um i think the the comedy comes in just like the the situation and the re and just the absurdity of like you know how ever sad everyone is and just to throw out some stupid line just to you know as, as a joke like if you try too hard which there i mean there may have been moments that i personally saw where i thought oh i wish i would have dialed that back a little bit or i wish i would have pushed that a little bit more but overall it's just how you're affecting the other person and that was the goal you know like can i make this other person crack a smile can i make that's the whole point it's not for trying to be funny for everybody it's like i'm talking to to jordy or i'm talking to nikki can i just like lessen up this mood here but i still at my age couldn't even imagine having a kid like just the pressure and, and the fear that would come with that i mean let alone you know susan having being a single mother raising like just the reality and the responsibility that comes with that and 
no one needed his his family to be together to help him out because he doesn't know if he can actually do it himself. 